இசி சடங்க செஞ்சிடலாம் வெல்கம் டு இசி பேட்டிக் டுடே இன் திஸ் கிளாஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் அபவுட் அண்ட் வயர்லெஸ் லேர்ன் அண்ட் விச் இஸ் த ஒன் ஆஃப் த மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஆஃப் கம்ப்யூட்டர் நெட்ஒர்க்ஸ் லெட் இஸ் கெட் இன் டு த டாபிக் ஸோ வயர்லெஸ் லேன் ஸோ ஒட் இஸ் மென்ட் பை வயர்லெஸ் லேன் ஒட் இஸ் இட்ஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் wireless lan we already know that lan local area network and uh, for some distances means one room at one building we are using this type of local area network but in that wide so without um, uh, without using an transmission medium is physical medium by using an wireless communication lans uh, to communicate wirelessly or uh, wireless communication by you to provide an lan network so we can call it as an wireless lan see the wireless lan will be called as an w lans w lans so it is an wireless computer network that uses an high frequency radio waves see in the previous classes we already discussed different type of unguided transmission media right we are using an radio waves microwaves and uh, infrared waves uh we are using these type of waves uh, to communicate data from one place to another place i already said uh, radio waves what is meant by radio waves uh, by any in which direction any direction it will uh, it will send from one it will send data from one place to another place in which any direction we can uh, accept that particular uh, network also so here uh, the wireless network we are using on radio waves instead of cables or an physical medium okay but uh, this is an wireless lan means it is in a local area network with a limited area limited area so that limited area means it may be a home school or campus or room whatever it may be so, so limited, limited area it will be work we can access that particular network uh, in any direction within building or a campus or a school okay so the most w lans are based upon the standard ieee 802.11 here the ieee standard will, will assign one particular standard number to the wireless lan that is an 802.11 and in this particular wireless communication wifi has the best uh, uh best efficient wireless communication wifi stands for wireless fidelity and it assigns an ieee number is 802.11a 802.11a so it uh, the particularly the wireless lan provides a two types of services okay to access the network from mobile stations from one place to another place so here the two types of services we have basic service set and extended service set we can call it as bss or ess let us get into that what is the basic service set and what is extended service set so basic service set basic service set contains a stationary or mobile wireless stations see uh mobile communication is an uh, the best example of wireless communication like that here we are taking the stations as an mobile stations in this uh, basic service set we also have a two type of network architecture in this basic service set service set we also have a two type of network architecture the first one ad hoc architecture and the second one infrastructure architecture or infrastructure network so the first one ad hoc architecture and the second one infrastructure architecture so what is the difference uh, between ad hoc architecture and infrastructure architecture means there is no concept of access point there is no concept of access point so that architecture will, will be called as an ad hoc architecture there is no concept of access point access point means anything it may be hub or a switch or a router see by using that access point we can access that network uh, 
that particular device we can call it as an access point the device may be router or a hub or a switch whatever it may be so this is a wireless communication means the router we can call we can take an best example for an access point so without an access point and with access point we have a two types of networks right so let us see what uh, let us see the diagram without access point how we can access the network for different uh, stations and with the access point how can we uh, access the network by for different stations let us see the diagram here so this is an uh, ad hoc network and this is an infrastructure network right so bss without access point bss without access point so that will be called an ad hoc network in ad hoc network there is no concept of access point there is no concept of access point so we can uh, this is a one type of a network uh, architecture this is a one type of network architecture without using an access point con concept we can communicate wirelessly from one station to another station we can communicate wirelessly from one station to another station another station we can send our data so here without using a router we can uh, communicate uh, this type of uh, uh, network so this is an ad hoc network uh, infrastructure network infrastructure network means there is a concept of access point there is a concept of access point the best example is router there is a concept of access point by using this access point what are the stations are connected what are the stations are connected so so by using this access point each and every station access that particular network access that particular network okay so in this uh, uh, without access point means we can take an mobile uh, uh, mobile as an uh, example means uh, mobile data we will have we are using an any access point here okay so access with access point means wifi we can take as an example by using a router we can access uh, that particular network at any direction in our home so this is a basic service set combining two or more stations mobile stations uh, we can call it as basic service set so in this basic service set also so without uh, we have a two types of network architecture or infrastructure without using an uh, concept of access point and with using a concept of access point presently we are using an uh, access point concept infrastructure network we are using an infrastructure network that is a very efficient network when compared to the ad hoc network when compared to the ad hoc network so the combination of two or more mobile stations we can call it as bss and next next we have a extended service set so what is meant by extended service set see the extended service set is a combination or joining two or more basic service sets two or more basic service sets and these extended networks are uh, uh, using a distributed system distributed system okay here these extended networks are created by joining the access points of basic services here if you want to combine two or may, uh, two or more basic service set we have we have a concept of access point means infrastructure network we are using infrastructure network we are using joining the access points of basic services sets through a wired lan through a wide lan here see we are combining two or more basic service set by using an wide lan known as distributed system that distributed system will act as a server that distributed system will act as a server here 
what are the different type of stations that supports an ess extended service set we have two stations mobile stations and stationary stations mobile stations and stationary stations so what are the mobile stations these are normal stations means uh, i already said the bss is a combination of two or more mobile stations means mobile station is an one type of station uh, in an inside a bss basic service set stationary station stationary stations means these are access point stations that a part of wide land access point stations means by using this access point only we are combining uh, that particular type of stations by using this only access point the different stations access the network right okay stationary stations means access point stations that a part of wide land so these access points are are connected to the distributed system these access points are connected to the distributed system from distributed system the network will be coming to the access point and the from that access point the different mobile stations access that particular network let us see. the communication between two stations in two different bss usually occurs via two aps okay the communication between two stations in two different bss means you also there is a facility of one mobile station of one bss to another mobile station of another bss by using an access point they can communicate okay so here a mobile station can belong more than one bss at the same time means if one mobile station in one bss will also access an a uh, mobile station of another bss i will see one example and we will get a clear idea about this okay so let us see the example how the uh, distributed uh, how the wide land will be connected here how the uh, different type of mobile stations and stationary stations is connected to the distributed uh, system right so let us see the diagram here so this is an extended service set okay this is an distributed system so see this is an gateway uh, will act as a server right so gateway of the server okay distributed system here we have a three bss we have a three bss right okay so i already said uh, the one the mobile station of one bss will also belong to the another bss here we have a three access points three access points and i have an 1 2 3 4 5 seven mobile stations seven mobile stations and three access points okay so these access points are connected to the distributed system sorry so these access points are connected to the distributed system ap stands for access point okay so and these seven systems are access uh, these seven systems are connected to three access points these seven systems are connected to access point see uh, these are the bss right so here look at this system look at this system so it is an uh, one of the station of uh, first bss and it is also station of a uh, second bss i, I already, already said in the previous uh, the mobile station the one station uh, of one bss it also belongs to the mobile station of another bs and uh, another bss and there is a possibility by using the server it will get a network to the distributed system okay so and these access points these are the stationary stations 
so access points will act as a stationary stations and uh, the laptops here these are the we can call it as a mobile stations okay whenever the server whenever the server gives a network here okay and uh, which uh, access points are connected to the distributed system by using the distributed system did these access points receive that particular type of network and by using these access points and different devices which are connected to particular access points that devices access that particular network this is a diagram of an extended services and it is a combination of bss and we combine three bss here okay and three access point each point each bss uh, use an access point and we take in seven mobile stations so the mobile station of one bss can also belong to the mobile station of another bss also so this is a uh, diagram of an ess so distributed system access point we will call as some stationary stations and these are the mobile stations right so this is an actual diagram of ess what is meant by ess means it is a combination of a number of two or more bss okay so let us see station types here the 802.111 means the wireless lan has a three type of stations on the basis of their mobility in wireless lan so basis of their mobility in wireless lan uh, the station types means here the wireless lan divided into three station types the first one no transition mobility bss transmission mobility ess transition mobility no transition mobility bss transition mobility ess transition mobility so the first one let look at this no transition mobility no transition mobility means these type of stations are either stationary that is immovable or move only inside a bss no transition mobility means there is no chance for to move from one bss to another bss within only one bss the stations will be communicated like uh, uh, so i'll show you one diagram so i am taking uh, three systems right so this is uh, will be uh, access point ap we have access point ap okay here no transition mobility means there is a communication within the network there is a communication within the network there is no communication to outside the bss uh, from B one bss to another bss there is no communication in no no mobility phase within one bss only the different systems, uh, systems will be communicated uh, will send data from one uh, from one system to another system that is no mobility and next one bss transition mobility uh, these types of stations can move from one bss to another but the movement is limited inside the ess here uh, ES, uh, limited ess means we already know the ess is a combination of two or more bss here there is a uh, possibility to move the stations from one bss to another bss but only one ess only we can move we cannot move the stations in uh, the mobile stations who have in one ess will not move to another ess another ess there is that uh, there is no chance that uh, okay within ess only the stations can now move from one bss to another bss from one ess to another ess there is no mobility means there is no possibility to move that st particular stations from one place to another place okay ess transition mobility ess transition mobility means these type of stations can move from one ess to another ess one ess to another ess okay so one uh, the station belongs to one ess 
the station belongs to one ess will be also acts or belong to a station of another ess will be act or move a station will be act as a station of another ess means there is a possibility that particular station of one ess to move to the another ess okay these will be uh, the particular 802.11 will be divided or wireless lan will be divided into these three station types means the first one no transition means within bss only the stations will be communicate that is an first thing and there is no chance to move from one bss to another bss that is no transition mobility and the second one is bss transition mobility bss transition mobility means we can move from one bss to another bss but within that ess only i already said ess is a combination of uh, two or uh, two or more bss right but here the chance is we can move uh, what the ess have combine uh, three B, uh, bss what are the different type of bss that ess combine we can move uh, the different uh, all the bss the station can move all the bss okay that will be possibility in a bss transition uh, ESS transition means the mobile station of one ESS. The mobile station of one ESS will will also can move can move to the another ESS. Can move to the another ESS. That means will also act as a station of another ESS. Will also act as a station of another ESS. And uh, these are the three station types that uh, uh, wireless lan uh, will be divided okay so this is about an wireless lan in this uh, particular video we already uh, discussed that what is meant by wireless lan so what is its limited area what are the different waves that it uses to provide this wireless transmission to our uh, Uh, to access the particular network okay these also provides and two basic services bss basic services set and ess uh, extended services and uh, we also have a different type of networks in bs bss and ess and we discussed all these types in wireless lan okay i hope you understand uh, i hope you understand all these topics uh, all the topic of wireless lan kindly like share subscribe easy btech for more videos thank you